Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I'm gonna showcase how we can very quickly get a basic Node.js Express endpoint running in a Docker container. And here I have a very, very simple example of an Express endpoint, where we're just starting an app from Express, we are exposing on a port 3000, and so just on a basic slash, we're gonna return hello TypeScript plus Node.js plus Express to our client. And I'm just ensure that we can actually see the stuff's happening. I'm just going to be printing to the console a small message. So if we would just very quickly showcase it locally, I can just do npm start. So then start the application. Actually, yeah, I previously tested it, but if I then just reload this page, I still get hello TypeScript plus Node.js plus Express, and we see here printed the console incoming get request. So this basic Express server works. A few things to keep in mind with the current setup I have here is that for this to work, it needs to be built first as a TypeScript file. In this case, we're not doing too much TypeScript stuff, but this would be a TypeScript Express setup. It's then compiled to JavaScript and it can then be run. And just very quickly to see locally what is being compiled is that my TypeScript file is then going to be put into a destination folder here, get rid of server.js. And when we install all our dependencies, it's creating this entire node modules area. So all the basic things we need for this to run is actually just our TypeScript file. Now it's going to complain that dependency is not installed, but our TypeScript file, and when we have a few package lock and package JSON and TS config to have all our basic configuration set up. So what we would now do to actually run it locally, I would need to first do npm install get our dependencies, I will then do npm run build to compile to JavaScript, and I could then do npm start to have the endpoint running. So with these things in mind, again, now deleting our destination folder and our compiled dependencies, so then create a Docker file and ensure that all our things are up to date in this Docker file, and then running from a base node. Base image allowing for the fact that we already have all our needed things for node installed. But I'm just going to create a working directory in this called, let's call it user source app. We're then going to copy all our current content is into this working directory. We're then, as we did locally, going to call npm install. We're then going to run npm run build. So again, remember everything before the CMD is run in the, when we build our Docker image. So in the process of building our Docker image, it's going to install our dependencies ensure we have the newest dependencies and run a build command to ensure we have the newest version of our application. We will then expose an endpoint and it's then simply just going to start our server to JS file in our dist folder using node. So then look at Docker. If we then do Docker PS, I can see I have no running containers. And if I do Docker images, we can see I have no images. So then first build our Docker file noting I'm already in the current position of our Docker file in this terminal. I can then simply do Docker, build. I'm gonna give it a name, a tag, call it node, and I'm gonna be building from our current position. As I have currently been playing around with this, there is some caching in Docker, which would make it pretty fast for me, but it might take a few seconds for you guys the first time you do it. But we should then see here that I now would have if we just give it one more second, there we go. Now do Docker images. We should now see that we would have a Docker image called node. I can then do Docker run port forward port 3000 to localhost port 3000. So the container, we know that from our server TS file. We're exposing on port 3000. We're going to then port forward this to port 3000 as well locally. And I will then run our node image. Then given it a few seconds to start, we should see that when it starts, we get the server is running on localhost 3000 like this. And again, it's going to be this exact same response. But if I then reload this page, like that, we then see we have an incoming get request. We can do it again, and we have more incoming get requests. If we then quickly go to another terminal, we could do docker ps to see we have this running image like this, and we can see it's port forwarding on port 3000. And I could then stop it 
Oh, let's just do it informally here on another terminal. I'll just then double stop. And we see here now the container has been stopped. And we see stop in here as well. So that is the basic concept of how we would for a Node.js Express endpoint get it into the container by simply first installing dependencies, compiling to JavaScript, and then running the desired application. And I will leave a link in the description to a GitHub repository with this base project setup. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this quick showcase of a Node.js Express Dockerized endpoint, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful day.